This is Kate Crane with another video for the Gel Press Printer Project series and today I'm using my Dilutions ink sprays. Now these aren't the most obvious thing to use on your gel plate because of the high fluid content they do tend to bead up a little bit but I wanted to experiment and see if I could get them to work because I really like the very very bright colours in this range. So I had a play to see if they would work on their own. I tried a combination with acrylic paint, I did some pull off prints and I managed to get some really nice bright prints like this. And it is messy, I'm not going to lie, it's super messy technique but you do get some very nice bright coloured results. And I used my prints to make some simple layered greetings cards because you know you always need a card. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to play with my Dilutions inks on the gel plate today. Now really these inks are designed for porous surfaces, so straight onto card, paper and so on. But they're such fantastic bright colours, I wanted to find a way to make them work on the gel plate. If you spray them straight onto the gel plate, they do tend to bead up and give you, you can see where it's beaded here, it gives you results a little bit like this. I wanted to find a way of making it work so I find a combination of the inks with a very thin layer of acrylic paint means you can start to play and create some really bright prints. Here's some I've already been playing with and you can also get some interesting um, kind of mop up pull off prints so you get your coordinating papers. I'm using my 8x10 gel press. You can use any size. I'm going to cut my prints down probably to make greetings cards I think. Um, and I'm going to start with a layer of um, titanium white. This is a Talons Amsterdam standard. When that paint layer is dry I'm going to spray on some of the dilutions. Now I'm choosing uh, cherry pie and bubblegum pink because those colours will blend. I'm then going to add um, some pure sunshine through a stencil. So at the moment those colours all blend nicely. I'm putting my stencil straight down on the wet ink. some subtle pattern on here that does mean I've got my coordinating papers. This time I'm just going to remove some of that ink with some kitchen roll. For a different look again. I'm trying without paint this time so you can see the difference. I'm starting with turquoise and I'm going to add some lime through a stencil. 